Hey everybody, welcome back to another live gameplay video. So in this video we'll be doing some more live gameplay, but before we get into that, we're going to get into the deck profile. And uh, nothing really too, too competitive today. Um, instead, we're going to go with one that uh, is kind of new. And it's going to be this uh, Flying Pikachu Flaffy deck. Um, with the uh, Flying Pikachu from Celebrations and the Flaffy from Evolving Skies. So let's take a look at the deck. Um, actually, we'll get into the, uh, the fixing view. Into this view. And uh, yeah, this is the deck here. Um, as you can see, I do have a couple of Raichu V in there, but more, that, more about that in a second. Um, yeah, so the main attacker of this is the Flying Pikachu. Um, it's a, uh, overall, I think it's a pretty cool card there. You know, 310 HP, which is the same as Mew. Um, it's got, uh, you know, Weakness and the Lightning, which is actually a really good weakness right now. Resistance to Fighting, which is actually a pretty good resistance. And then Retreat Cost uh, of uh, Zero, which is absolutely awesome. And then it's Attack there, um, which is uh, Lightning and Two Colors, Max Balloon for 160. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. Um, so I'm not really too sure what that gets around. Uh, because, you know, everything, you know, V maxes and V stars, you know, the most common um, types that are being played right now are considered evolved Pokemon. So this secondary effect is actually kind of useless. In, uh, in most cases uh, however though um, the reason why I chose the flying Pikachu was just because of the attack cost right because it's lightning and two colorless meaning you can use double turbo energy to power this up and get that turn to max balloon for actually it'll be 140 um, the reason why this is so important is because uh, Palkia V-Star is a huge Pokemon right now that is being played. It's considered um, one of the best decks, if not the best deck, in the format right now. And it has a lightning weakness, meaning um, even with the drop to 140 damage, that is still exactly enough to one-hit KO a Palkia V-Star, right? because it, it has 280 HP so that's super important and that's why we have it in there uh, Flaffy just because I think it's I don't know it kind of works well with you know the Raichu in here you know it's a different kind of a different engine but um, I can also like I said power up the uh, flying Pikachus that way you're not dependent on that double turbo energy um, you could even maybe switch this with Arceus and just do like Arceus Flying Pikachu, but the whole purpose of this is is to get the turn two uh, Flying uh, Pikachu with the attack here, Max Balloon, for that knockout on the Palkia. The Raichu here is just a backup attacker. It's got a great first attack here. Um, yeah, it allows you to search your deck for a Lightning Energy card. And then uh, the um, the uh, lightning, uh, probably dynamic spark here. You can discard any amount of lightning energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 60 damage for each card you discarded in this way. So even going first, if you start with this thing against Palkia, right, you can still get that turn two dynamic spark uh, for you know do 120 times two is 240. You know, if you do the have the choice spell on here, it'll do uh, 150 times two, which is 300. Or if you just simply attach another lightning energy to it, it'll do 180 times two, which is 360. Which is absolutely awesome. So a nice little backup attacker. And then we have like the um, just the regular search cards, the regular supporter cards. Um, your Pokemon Search, Evolution Incense. Uh, level ball and quick ball, right? That's pretty much everything. Um, you got your switching cards and your other 
uh, tools. So one switch, one air balloon, which does this, which is really good. Um, I think we only need to play two as mostly everything has a um, free retreat or uh, retreat cost of one. You got your two choice belt there, which adds the damage. And then we have our, you know, a backup recovery card, which is Ordinary Rod, which is pretty cool. We got our stadiums, which is Path to the Peak, which is absolutely awesome for this deck. And then um, Stormy Mountain, which searches out our lightning types as well. And then we have our supporter lineup. We got three boss, which is um, like, a, like the best, one of the best cards in the deck. It's absolutely one of my favorites. Um, you got Leon here, you know, which increases the damage by 30. So it's another way uh, how we can um, increase that threshold. And by the way, if you discard, um, you know, with uh, with Raichu, this can help you to get uh, get over that high threshold capable of hitting 330 damage um, and also just to note as well this is also before applying weakness and resistance so this is a choice belt and a supporter you got Marnie because it's Marnie research because it's research and then a nice little come from behind card in Raihan right um, if your Pikachu gets knocked out against Palkia you just attach Evolve, double turbo, and then max balloon there for the knockout on the Kalkia. And then lastly, the energies uh, four double turbo, which is good. And then seven lightning because it is a lightning deck. And that is it. Um, oh, and I guess lastly, one card that I forgot is the Crobat, uh, which is here for the dark asset. So, all right, so let's get into some live gameplay. Right, and uh, let's just see what uh, you know how how things are gonna go. I have not played this at all, so um, this is like literally my first time. Right, so we're gonna use this, and uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, so one of the biggest things in. Um, the Pokemon trading card game is weakness, right? And uh, we're gonna go with heads here. Nope, so they're gonna go first, obviously. But uh, weakness is a huge thing, right? It is probably one of the most important things uh, in this game. We're gonna go with the Pikachu start because it's got free retreat, and we'll do that. It's so important and definitely changes the game from a, um, you know, to, to at least a 50-50 matchup, right? And then obviously there are other factors to go with that, so. Alright, so we got, that's pretty good here. Um, heck, I can even go into the, uh, to the Raichu here. Um, Storm Mountain, we'll use to play that. So we'll look at the Raichu here. See what, what happens with this. We'll do the Lightning here to Raichu. Um, we're going to retreat to the Raichu because then that way we can kind of boss depending on what they have. And I'm not going to, um, well actually no, they have, this is their first turn of the game, so they could have a supporter. So I think what we'll do is Marnie, because I don't want to be discarding anything right now. Drop their hand to three cards. Okay, so that's really good. Um, so let's... Uh, I want to get another Flaffy into play, but I also want to make sure that I can Crobat as well. So I have the Crobat, which is good. Um, so let's get the let's get the Mareep 
just cause. And then I always have the Crobat for the next turn. Uh, to draw, so I mean, yeah, just in case if they play Path of the Peak, I have Stormy Mountain there. And we will use Fast Charge. Awesome. Let's see what they do here. They haven't really showed off much of the deck, except for the Bidoof here, so a lot of things come to mind. Um, is this like a, just a straight Palkia? Is it an Arceus variant? Is it a, like a newer one, like Samurott or Decidueye? Ultra Ball, okay. So they're playing Malamar, Arceus Malamar. Ball. Okay, so let's see. Arceus. Okay, just as I thought. So we need to get a, a draw supporter for the next turn. Or something. Something really good. Because I want to boss that up there. Uh, that's interesting. Um... I'm going to use Stormy Mountain. So let's get another Raichu from the deck. Uh, so that's going to be really hard to get a knockout. Um, I can attach this here. that. Let's quick ball away the Stormy Mountain. I didn't want to do that, but uh, kind of didn't have a, any other choice there as we didn't have the boss. So now I have to get a quick ball, a lightning energy, and a boss, and a Flaffy as well. Dark Asset. Yes. Um, so we do have a, another um, card there, which is really good. An Evolution Incense. So we got our Flaffy here. Okay, and they are probably going to Trinity Nova next turn. So I think we need to um, just Dynamic Spark here. And yes. Sucks that I wasn't able to boss, but whatever it happens, quick ball. Okay, so that's not too bad. We do have the dry hand for next turn as well. So we need to get a lot of energy. A lot of energy into play. I need to get... Attach, double dynamotor. And a... Um, a rye hat for f four energy into play. That's the play next turn to knock out this Arceus. So that's going to be pretty hard. Let's see if they 
can actually Trinity Nova here. They have to use their V-Star power to get the double turbo if they don't have it to build up their Malamar. Let's see, let's see what happens here. Yeah, so they're, they're obviously they're gonna starboard. The other good thing here too is with Stormy Mountain is we can, um, what's it called, uh, just get rid of all of our basics in the deck so we can draw better. Do they have an attachment? If they don't have an attachment then all we need, if we can just get a KO then we have an advantage, a huge advantage. So there we go, so they got the attachment. Okay, Path of the Peak does literally nothing versus us. Yeah, and they get the KO. Which is okay. Okay. We're gonna send up... Uh, yeah, we'll send up the Flying Pikachu. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We've got two in the discard. Some Dynamotor. Onto this. Uh, we can quick. Uh, no, we don't want a quick ball. We want a Raihan. That there, search. For a lightning energy. So we're hitting for uh, 240 right now. Anything else? No, we don't have any in the discard. Um, if we quick ball the lightning. We could potentially get something. Uh, quick ball. The lightning. So we want to get something into play here. Uh, let's grab. Let's grab the Pikachu. Okay, let's put a, let's put the choice belt on here, as if we don't get the other energy, and then we just have to, we just have to research on this, and hopefully we get it, um, no, actually, no, we can't do that either, um, We'll just retreat to this and then that's the best thing that we can um, we'll do this here we'll put this down and then that's really the best thing that we can do here and that is it only for 180 That's the best thing that we can do. It sucks, but it is what it is. So now they're gonna use Malamar. No, they're just gonna Trinity Nova. Okay. Set up this one. Uh, 
Uh, let's dynamotor. On to this. Now let's Professor Juniper. For evolution incense. that there they probably have the next turn so um, attach this here retreat into this let's see what else is in here uh, ordinary rod do both They probably just have the boss next turn. But, uh, let's see what happens. Then, Max Balloon. Two. Boss is ordered on the Crobat. And then attack there with Max Jammer. Oh, they're gonna rock sound, hey? Crazy good. Obviously, they're gonna get rid of the quick ball there. Let's research. Uh, t -t -t -t. So we got our evolution incense. Got Pika there. For right here. We can bench. This and then we can put our lightning energy put our lightning energy here and then let's let's retreat into this and then let's uh, yeah, I've played a support, but let's just max the here. For 140. And then if they don't get the KO, I just need a lightning energy, then I have game. Let's see what happens here. So I have the boss, if they, if they attack here, they're going to get rid of the boss, and then I just retreat to ride you with lightning energy in this game. That's all that happens. Let's see, let's see what happens here, guys. I don't know why they're doing the Marty. Okay. And I have I've discarded one boss, so one's going to the bottom. Okay. Let's 
not really too great. Um, but still, they need to boss. So they probably drew the boss off the Marty. Because they haven't played anything yet. Um, I just need to discard one. So now I drew the boss. Um, level bowl. Get the fluffy. Quick ball, the lightning, get the other Raichu, so now I'm going to see, uh, see the, they have a choice ball or they boss for the, for the game, uh, I'm going to retreat into this. Dyna motor. Uh, we'll just do it onto the Flaffy there. And then we gotta discard five. And then dynamic spark. Two. Three. Four, five. For the knockout for 330. So I got two prizes here. And okay, so let's see what happens here. They don't have an energy. And we and we won that one. So that was a that was a close one. Very, very close. Raichu, Raichu, Raichu. The big difference maker in that game. Um, it's a crazy good attacker. And uh, wow, that's that was an awesome game. There, holy smokes! All right, look, let's do let's do another one. Let's do another one. Let's see what we get with it. And uh, yeah, like I've been saying, everybody, this is kind of a, like a, it's a joke deck, right? Like, I'm not, like, I'm not taking this seriously. Um, but uh, yeah, let's, let's play. Let's see what we get here. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's a nice old school deck box there. I lost again. Crazy. A flying Pika. So we do have the turn two Pika V Max and the boss if they are playing Palkia. Ultras. Dark Cry. Uh, and that is pretty much it. So I don't want to boss because I want to force them to retreat. So.
we're gonna have to try and get this out of the active. Okay. So we'll double turbo. Choice belt. Pika V Max. Uh, I don't know, I could get a prize off this. But is it worth it? Because if I do, this is 150 and Darkrai V Star will have 280 or 270, I think. So I think we just go for the max balloon here. Right, and, and see what happens. 170 up. So now I'm gonna force them to get their dark ride KO here or save it. Training court, which that's, that's actually a really good stadium for us. Dark patch. The, their hand is just terrible right now. Another dark patch. They have no supporter right now. So that's like, that's really good for us. Level ball. I'm gonna get a Mareep here. So that at least saves us a bit here. Mareep. Uh, I'm not going to... Well, I could attach. I could attach a lightning here just for the attachment for the turn. And then, um, I can't really do anything else other than Max Balloon. So I'll get the KO. And let's see if they get a supporter here um, on their following turn. So, let's see what happens. Dark Energy, Dark Void, Asleep. Okay, so that's interesting. So we'll play Raichu. We'll play Flaffy. Uh, we'll play Quick Ball. Get the Crobat. Yes, Dark Acid. Uh, t -t 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 -t. We'll attach here. Level ball. I'm gonna get another Mareep. Mareep down. And because they didn't have a supporter, we're going to cut off their access with the Crobat. So we're going to play Path of the Peak. And I'm not going to Marnie it at all. Uh, we will finish our turn. Ultra Ball. Then they don't, do they have a stadium? Do they have a stadium? They do have the stadium. Okay. So now we got a game right now. They had the stadium, so that's really good. So now we can actually play our Marnie the next turn. They are, they are. Ultra Ball Dark Patch. So the one thing I don't like about the Dark Cry here is the damage output. It is really slow. Like it is only doing 30 for each Dark. So it's only hitting for, I think, 120 right now. Right? 
So now it'll be hitting for 150. Moltres there, so now 180, 210. And we still haven't got anything crazy good here. Uh, so we're just going to research this, so that way I can get a dynamotor off. Hoping for a switch. Uh, that's absolutely annoying. Um, dynamotor. On to, let's do to the Raichu here. We'll put another Pika here. That sleep is just really annoying. Like, holy smokes. Uh, put the double turbo here. I got the training court there. Um, it's evolution incense for a fluffy. Fluffy here. And that's uh, just absolutely terrible on how we can't do anything. Like, um, played Path to the Peak here. And then I guess we gotta end our turn. So now he's gonna. Oh, there we go, on our opponent's turn. Oh, nice. Nice. So let's see what happens now. So dark energy there. Professor's research. Just really good luck for this one here. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. So I'll probably send up Pikachu here the next turn. Just to knock out the uh, the Darkrai V-Star. Right? He'll get three prizes here. And I'm expecting that we're going to need to get a, another Raichu into play. Uh, just to uh, get a game here. So. Let's see what happens here. So now they're contemplating on getting whether or not they can get the KO. They will get the... No, they're going to leave that there, so they will get the KO. Okay. Let's start with the Pika here. So attach the lightning here. Pika VMAX. Uh, so we'll Dynamotor. Uh, let's put it on to the... Let's put it on to the... Uh, I guess let's put it on the Crobat there. Because we can always retreat it. So... And then let's just max balloon for 140 for two prizes. So we got an air balloon, which is good, and a Leon. So the Leon will actually be really handy here. Um, that way I only need to discard four energies to get the KO with Raichu. If I can get another Raichu into play, then it should be good game. <sighs> but that Path of the Peak is putting in a lot of work right now. A lot of work right now. Let's see what happens here. Leon actually was a uh, last minute addition to the deck. Um, I thought it might be cool just because of, of the 
Um, the damage, you know, between doing 240 and 300. Okay, so they're gonna Marnie. I'm, I'm actually okay with that. It would have been nice to have the air balloon on the boss, but we'll see. Okay, so that's not too bad. We do have the Raichu, though. We're able to get the Raichu another way. Dark Patch. Okay, so they still need to boss the next turn. Uh, okay, so let's quick ball. Let's quick ball this. Okay, so we'll do this. So I got five here. So we're going to Professor's Research. Okay, so we do have an air balloon, which is good. So I can air balloon onto the onto the Flaffy here. Um, I'm gonna attach this here for the turn. And then we'll just retreat to this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It needs to discard. Six. One. Take two prizes here. Let's see what we get. I don't think he'll be able to get the KO, so I'm just banking on, on that. Marnie, okay. Another Marnie, holy smokes. So you can't boss this one. Why did you Okay, uh, so let's see what I can do here. Um, I need to get four into play. Dynamotor. Onto this. Dynamo. Onto this. One, two, three. So one eighty plus this. So I'm going to put this here. Uh, put this here. How many do I have here? Three, and I got three in place. So I need to draw one. If we don't get this, we're probably losing. I guess we don't have that. So we just have to Juniper and hope for a lightning energy. And we got it, so. Go. On the last card. 
right there. We got the lightning energy. Holy smokes. What a crazy game there. With flying Pikachu slash Raichu. Holy smokes. Awesome. And that is it, everybody. Um, so before we uh, close out, we'll go back to the to the uh, the deck profile and just kind of go over what uh, what we played there. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool this deck. Um, I was just messing around, and uh, um, like I said, the this is so this is the deck here. The whole reason why we have the flying Pikachu here is because this is, um, you're able to get that turn 2 knockout on the Palkia uh, V-Star, right? And that's exactly what the game is moving towards now. Uh, it's no longer V-Maxes, but instead V-Stars. However, the advantage the V-Maxes have is their higher HP, right? Anywhere from, um, you know, 20 to probably about 50 more 50, 60, 70 more HP than the uh, than the V Star. So, okay, uh, yeah. So this is Pikachu V Max, Max Balloon for 140 times two, which is 280, which is a knockout on Palkia V Star. Um, Raichu here actually put in a lot of work as well. I'm um, with a Dynamic Spark, able to hit the perfect numbers, uh, like two 240, you know, 270. Right, knocking out, um, you know, uh, things like uh, like Darkrai V, Darkrai V Star, right, and um, you know Arceus and and Malamar, right. It puts in a lot of work, and uh, just an awesome card. And then this is the rest of the list here. So, Path to the Peak as well, put in a lot of work. Sure, you have the Crobat, but. Um, you know, a lot of people think that, uh, you know, when they see the Pikachu deck, when they see Raichu and Flaffy, oh, we don't need Path to the Peak, but little do they know, I play one single crow button here, right? And uh, it's actually pretty good because when that happens, when they discard theirs, I'm able to use my crow bat and then play down Path to the Peak to stop them, right? Um... And the other thing too is like, you know, I can proactively play Path to the Peak, right? So when they get rid of my Path to the Peak, then I'm able to uh, Dark Asset with the Crobat, right? So there, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, maybe the one thing that I might change would be to um, up the boss, boss orders to four. And then maybe the energy, maybe I'd like to go a little bit more lightning energy than double turbo, maybe eight three, right? Um, and then the, obviously the other thing would maybe be to to drop the uh, flying Pikachu line down from 4-3 uh, to maybe like a 3-2 and then up the Raichu line to maybe 4, right? To, to, yeah, to maybe 4 um, just because it's, it's such an awesome card here with the dynamic spark, so. And that is the list, everybody, so. Thank you so much for uh, for checking out this video, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, you all kind of see, um, you all kind of enjoyed seeing this um, this absolutely joke deck. Uh, you know, play a couple games and win. So against uh, you know some pretty cool decks like Darkrai and Arceus uh, Malamar, and uh, yeah, there you go. Try it out and leave a you know. Leave a comment, you know, even if you're just saying hi or, you know, um, you thought this deck was really cool and you liked it. And um, just also let me know what you uh, what you want to see. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. And uh, see you in the next video.